ERT is an en route recovery team, and our sole purpose is to support the missions downrange. We exist to swap out aircraft so that they get fresh jets in theater where they need them to support the mission and bring back home those that need phase maintenance. Our ERTs consist of 14 to 17 airmen, depending on how many aircraft we're actually going to phase and that team deploys out together as a maintenance team. We take every specialty that's needed to fix, launch, recover, and uh, fix any maintenance issues that are on those aircraft before either sending them forward to a forward operating location or back here to Beale. Essentially, it's just the 14 team members and it's their everyday job that they do here at Beale. So it's typically launch, recovery, servicing, maintenance, anything that would cause the airplane not to break. The first phase is the preparation phase, and that is a month ahead of time. We are uh, preparing the charts, we are coordinating with the building and people downrange and getting the equipment that we need once we're there. We develop our team here, we spend a few weeks getting our uh, maintenance team together, usually a combination of individuals that have been on the trip before and bring that corporate knowledge and expertise with them as well as maybe some uh, younger but also qualified airmen that get to experience it. The second phase is actually uh, sending our team over to Fairford. Phase number two is basically the deployment. So you're transitioning from home station to the forward operating location, which would be Fairford. And there we would set everything up to receive the aircraft either from the forward operating location or from Beal. Once we're planes arrive there, one of the planes will come out of theater to England as well. We get those planes, turn them, and then we'll send another plane back into theater. The 9th Physiological Support Squadron provides support to the ERT by providing maintenance and repairs and inspections on the pilot's life support equipment to include the full pressure suit, so usually a three-person crew to come out to England and then we are responsible for helping the pilot dress and integrate into the aircraft, making sure that all of his equipment is functional, and then doing any minor repairs or inspections that uh, that equipment may require. We save a lot of money for the Air Force by sending a maintenance team to Fairford. In the past, we hired a uh, Lockheed Martin contract to do phases in the 380th, and now we no longer pay that bill, which was a very high bill, and we save millions of dollars a year by bringing the jets back here for phase. We're not breaking new ground as often as we are doing this. It's a lot of the same contact people, and uh, we've got a good working relationship with our overseas partners. If I was going to say a bottom line about our ERTs, I'd say that our maintenance group here and our wing has found a very cost-effective way to perform this heavy maintenance and to do it in such a way that we can save the Air Force a lot of money and utilize our airmen to let them do what they do best to keep our fleet healthy.